How do we as creators deal with comments we just don't want to see? I'm going to talk about that right now. Comments are a double-edged sword, aren't they? On the one hand, we as creators thrive on positive feedback. After all, if we weren't interested in recognition, we wouldn't be posting our stuff online in the first place. There's nothing that can brighten one's day, or validate one's efforts, more than a thriving, positive comment section. Unfortunately, nothing can put a damper on one's creative spirit more than negative feedback. As a creator, we identify very personally with our content. An attack or dismissal of something we create reads the same as an attack or dismissal of ourselves. I mentioned this point a bit in my video on defending beginners, but this isn't just beginners who suffer from this problem. It can affect anyone, newbies and veterans alike. Sometimes creators can take this even further, with a small amount of negativity outweighing and even invalidating any and all praise for that same work in their own mind. This happens to me with pretty much everything I've ever posted. Even amongst hundreds of positive comments, it only takes a handful of dissenters to ruin a piece of content altogether for me. This mindset is terribly unhealthy, as it not only poisons my perception of my work, but of myself as an artist. And from listening to what other creators have to say about themselves and their own work, I'm far from alone here. So I took to thinking about why exactly I personally put so much weight into these detractors when I should really be listening to the mountain of positivity, or even better, letting my own passion be unaffected by the comments of other people. I think what it comes down to is that the anonymous nature of the internet democratizes everyone's voice, and therefore makes everyone inherently valid. Or at least that's how my brain processes it. I'm a 26 year old, decently educated human being. When I read comments online, I tend to project that standard onto everyone else by default. I make the subconscious assumption, in lack of any concrete detail, about who wrote this comment, that they're of a similar age, mindset, and knowledge concerning whatever subject is being discussed that I am. And because of that assumption, putting them on equal grounds as myself, anything they have to say is valid by default, because the empty vessel delivering the comment has been automatically given credibility by my own mind. This, combined with my own insecurities and previously mentioned personal bond to my creations, sets the stage perfectly to take whatever critical statement I'm eyeing far too seriously. It might be someone else writing the comment, but I read the comment as if I wrote it myself. But the reality of the situation is in all likelihood completely different. The person writing the comment could have entirely different tastes, be biased against what I'm making and not have given it a fair chance, or a billion other reasons that could invalidate them as a critic worth paying any heed to if they had delivered this message in person. Now, I'm not trying to say ignore people who are trying to give you constructive criticism, nor am I trying to say to take an expert's word as gospel. All I'm saying is that everyone comes from different backgrounds, with different preferences and different biases. And while we might be able to have a glimpse at those in physical interactions and understand them, those subtle hints as to who someone is and what they stand for are lost when conversing online. Just remember that those who denounce your work aren't always the ones worth listening to. My name is Tom Oliver, and you've been watching Rebel Pixels, a channel all about empowering and impassioning the DIY creator here on the web. If that's you, and if you love making things, whether it be art, music, or whatever have you, you should hit that subscribe button right here and join the conversation. I make new videos about creativity every week, whether it be motivational and helpful tips like this that I've learned the hard way on my creative journey, or if it's more technical things like reviews or gear recommendations. So if that sounds like a jam, come join the family and uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. What do you think about comments? Because we all get them. So until next time, I'm Tom Oliver, this is Rogue Pixels reminding you that we might be indie, but doesn't mean that we're alone.